So I've been getting this question a lot about compatibility regarding displays and also calibration device with Palette Master Ultimate. So let's talk about them. This is Artist Right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. For a quick background, BenQ Palette Master Ultimate is their brand new software that they have developed from the ground up to run a hardware calibration on your BenQ SW display. And it is currently available for both Mac and PC. I'll leave links to BenQ websites you can download and try it out in the description. With this in mind, we're going to talk about the compatible SW models and these represent the current SW display in the lineup. That would be SW240, SW270C, SW271C, SW321C, and their two latest SW272U and SW272Q. In fact, I have with me the SW272U and in my testing of this display so far, it is really a fantastic display and I'll share with you more in the videos I'll be releasing in the coming weeks about it, but I think you're really going to love this display. Now let's talk about compatible color calibration devices. The largest support for these devices will come from Calibrite and also X-Rite. So if you're unfamiliar with the color calibration device that you have, the best thing that you can do right now is to take out your device and compare the marking of the device and the shape of the device to what you're seeing on the screen. If it matches with what you're seeing here, it is compatible and will work with Palette Master Ultimate. If it's not, chances are it is not compatible and you may need to purchase a new color calibration device before you can calibrate your SUB display with Palette Master Ultimate. So from Calibrite, we have Color Checker Display Pro, Color Checker Display Plus, and their Spectro Photometer, the Color Checker Studio. From the X-Rite camp, we have i1 Display Pro, i1 Display Pro Plus, i1 Studio Spectrophotometer and also Color Monkey Photo, if you have this device, will also work with Palette Master Ultimate as well. For their professional color spectrophotometer, we have the i1 Pro 2, i1 Pro 3, and the i1 Pro 3 Plus that is supported. Now, a couple hints about this. For instance, if you have the color spectrophotometer devices from either Calibrite or from X-Rite, these are the three devices, the Color Checker Studio, i1 studio or the color monkey photo all of these are technically exactly the same device and if you want to just simplify your life what you can easily do in palette master ultimate when you're choosing your calibration device is to choose i1 studio and you will be good to go because the other thing you might want to note as well is that if you have a color monkey photo color monkey photo does not show up on the list but if you choose i1 studio you'll be good to go the other device I also want to quickly mention is the i1 Pro. It is not officially supported in Palette Master Ultimate. However, if you choose i1 Pro 2, the device should work and you should be able to calibrate your display with the i1 Pro. Next, we're going to move on to data color devices. At this point in time, the only data color device that is supported is the Spider X, and this is regardless of version. So whether you have the Pro or the Elite, they will both work with Palette Master Ultimate. The other thing I also want to share with you as well is that whether you have the Pro Elite or the Elite or Ultra in their latest device, it really doesn't matter as much because they are technically the same device. When you buy those with the Pro moniker or with the Elite moniker at the end, what you're really getting is an upgrade to the software. The device itself is the exact same thing. That's why on the device, you will never see it says Spider X Pro or Spider X Elite. They are just exactly the same device with a different set of software license when you purchase them. Now, the other thing that many of you have been asking is the new Spider X2 currently supported and the support for that is not available yet but it is coming in the future this way so you know but these are the supported device from data color and with this in mind there's one more discussion that i like to have and this is a question that i have been receiving frequently how come there are certain sw models and color calibration devices that has been omitted from palette master ultimate one of my followers even asked me are there significant changes inside each different display models that warrants these type of omission and also the color calibration devices as well? The answer to this question is a resounding yes. So to us, what we see, even if we get a brand new display today, is that we still see our graphical user interface from the operating system, the apps that are running, our creative work, showing on the display as if nothing has changed. And that is intentionally by design is to give you the most seamless experience possible. But with every single generation of new display that they have released, 
There's a new LCD panel with better color accuracy. There's a new backlight with better uniformity coming out and all these other improvements in the feature spec. Inside the display, there is a circuit board with multiple ships on the inside that controls the various function from the color adjustment in the 3D lookup table to the black and white scaling on the display itself and many other functions. Think of your display, which each new generation, more like a computer and rather than just you know, an appliance that you use with your computer. And that is the best way how I can describe it. So it's really more like a laptop or more like a smartphone where at a certain point in time, these OS manufacturer would stop to support those laptop with an older ship or those smartphone with an older ship on the inside because the experience, the user experience won't be as good anymore because the new OS is demanding that much more out of the chip. Very similarly, the way how we can think about Palette Master Ultimate is that this is a brand new OS in a way for BenQ SW Display. And with this software, I know that many of you have tried it. I have received so many positive feedback from this one that's saying that the Delta E value for Palette Master Ultimate is significantly lower than Palette Master Element and it is a much better software. But what BenQ is really doing here is they're pushing the components inside even the current generation very much so to the edge of what it can do already. And that's the reason why there are certain omissions that has to happen to give you the best user experience, especially if you're using this latest software. And that user experience is crucial to the reason why BenQ is releasing Palette Master Ultimate. So anyway, I hope that you find these discussion and a lot of information I shared here helpful. If you have any questions or comment, please leave them below. Give this a like, subscribe, and hit on the bell if you're new and in our retrust.